If you don't know what this is, this video is for you. Loctite Blue 242 Thread Locker is simply an adhesive for fasteners like these nuts and bolts. Blue is the medium beauty removable formula. Here's a quick look at the specs. For 1 quarter to 3 quarter inch diameter fasteners, 110 inch pounds breakaway torque and 43 inch pounds prevailing torque. I'll explain those later. Sets in 10 minutes and fully cures in 24 hours. Negative 65 to plus 300 degrees Fahrenheit temperature range and is used before assembly. Phew, now for the fun stuff. Shake well before use. Apply to the bolt threads where the nut will be placed. Thread on the nut. Torque to the desired torque measurement, in this case 11 foot pounds. Let's set up this loose nut with thread locker and torque down this control nut to 11 foot pounds without thread locker. You'll see why in a moment. Five samples of each were assembled and a thread locker was allowed to cure for 24 hours. Lecture time. Thread lockers are one part anaerobic adhesives. They cure on contact with metal surfaces and in the absence of oxygen. Now back to the fun stuff. Let's test the breakaway torque of a control sample without thread locker. Breakaway torque is the force needed to break a fixed fastener loose and start rotation. On this sample, the breakaway torque was 10.1 foot pounds. On a side note, a more fun way to test thread locker is with a vibration test. Please check out my channel for that video. After curing, the thread locker holds the nuts in place. Let's test the breakaway torque of a so called loose nut 3.02 foot pounds and the prevailing torque of 1.54 foot pounds. Prevailing torque is the force needed to continue rotating the nut after it has been broken loose and makes it hard for fasteners to spin off freely. Almost done, stick with me. Let's repeat the process with the tightened or loaded nuts. Breakaway torque of 14.45 foot pounds and the prevailing torque of 1.8 foot pounds. Before getting to the results, here's a look at the fully cured thread locker after the nut was broken free and removed. And here are the breakaway torque results for all five samples of each. We'll remove the high and low values and then calculate the averages. Notice that for some reason, the loaded average breakaway torque is more than the control and no load combined. Not sure why. And now the prevailing torque results. Again, we'll remove the high and low values and then calculate the averages. Notice that both are basically the same. Looking at Loctite's technical data sheet for 3 8 by 16 zinc plated nuts and bolts and converting to foot pounds, our average results are midway between the range min and max for both breakaway and prevailing torques. If you like this video, check this out.